If you're looking to add some turnkey auxiliary lighting to the accessory ready A pillar location on your 21 and newer Bronco, then you should definitely consider the Diode Dynamics SS3 LED ditch light kit that we have here today. Now, this particular option will feature the bright white LED lighting, along with a combined total of over 1,500 lumens for around that $200 price point. Install, at least according to the site here, guys, gonna get a strong one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, some light wiring involved, of course, but take about an hour or so to complete from start to finish, as we'll demonstrate later in the video. Diode Dynamics is a very solid company that engineers and assembles all of their products here in the US and backs most, if not all of their kits with an eight year limited warranty. Now, I was very familiar with these guys on the truck side with my Raptor and was really pumped to see them start releasing stuff for the sixth gen Bronco. But let's get into the kit that we have here on the table today. And again, this is the SS3 Sport LED Pod, the three in SS3 does indicate the three inch size here for the pod itself. And the sport designation being the company's entry level option in regards to total power and output. Now from here, Diode does also offer the Pro and Max, both of which will feature big time upgrades when we're talking total power and intensity. But with that being said, the sport that we have here again will still be enough for most owners out there, I feel, uh, when we're talking six gen Bronco and just total off-road or auxiliary lighting output. Diving even deeper into the SS3, you are getting 14.5 watts per cube here. And the cube has been separated by a 65, 25 degree combo pattern, meaning you're getting 65 degrees of a focus or driving optic beam whereas you're also getting 25 degrees of more of a floodlight pattern, and that is per light. So obviously you're getting a lot of spread here, but you're also getting some nice throw as well with the driving optic. Now I do also want to point out that the stage series lenses that we have here do feature what Diode refers to as their TIR optics, and that stands for total internal reflection. Uh, basically this just helps the lights be a little bit more efficient while producing more output over a more traditional reflector style housing. Last but not least, these lenses and lights have been given the IP67 waterproof rating, and that's just gonna help prevent any water or moisture or condensation from entering the housings themselves over the years. Now again, this particular ditch light kit from Diode Dynamics does feature the bright white light thanks to the clear lens, and that's gonna shine at a 6,000K color temperature. Now, if you'd like, Diode does also offer this exact ditch light kit, but with a yellow lens instead, which is gonna be great for your bad weather or fog type situations, or maybe as a visibility light while out on the trails. Uh, also heads up here, gang, you can actually change the color of the lenses. They are actually just kind of bolted into place. So if you ever wanted to get a replacement from Diode, either to just change up the color or maybe a crack one due to a rock, you can grab just a lens by itself here and they are interchangeable. But as I mentioned at the very top of this video, this is as turnkey as it gets, I would say in the world of aftermarket or auxiliary lighting, because yes, you're getting the ditch light kit with the SS3 pods here, but they're also kicking in these really nice aluminum brackets to be utilized in that accessory ready position near the side mirrors on your Bronco nearest the A-pillar, and they do kick in all of the necessary hardware to get these in place really easily. Now, when it comes to wiring, obviously this will go down one of two different ways. If you have the factory upfitter or auxiliary switches, then obviously you're gonna wanna tap into those. Uh, if not, you're just gonna have to make these work through traditional power ground and a switch, basically on and off. Diode does kick in a pretty basic power and ground pigtail, so you will need to handle some light wiring outside of getting the lights in place. But to give you a better idea of just how that will go down, I'm gonna kick things over to my man Jay in the garage, and he's gonna walk you through this job step by step. Tools for this install, an impact, a T30 or T25 Torx bit, depending on where you wanna mount your lights, a 5 30 seconds Allen bit, a 10 millimeter socket, a small extension, and a ratchet or electric ratchet. First step for you would be to remove your cowl as well as antenna so we could run our wire cleanly. Simply remove your antenna by twisting it counterclockwise. Taking your T30 Torx bit, remove the bolt above the antenna. And do the same on the other side.
Now that you have your cowl bolts and antenna removed, we're gonna go ahead and wire up our lights with our switch and harness. This kit only comes with a pigtail, so I would suggest picking one of these up from our website, and it does come with a switch. We're gonna go ahead and run that now. Pull up slightly on your cowl so we can fish our harness wire through and underneath. Now roughly that is where our auxiliary light is going to sit. Now we could run our wire to the driver's side. Now after running your wire to the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and repeat that same action as far as getting your harness through the cowl so you can plug your lights in. With your harness in place, feel free to secure your cowl once again. With your wires now in place underneath your cowl, it's time to fish our switch through our firewall. Now Ford does make it really convenient for you, giving you a point of access for your firewall where we can run our switch through. It's just going to be a rubber plug in front of the fuse box. Go ahead and push that rubber plug into your cab now we can run our switch through the firewall. Now you can go ahead and try to reapply your plug for your firewall, wedging your wire in between the plug itself as well as the rubber plug. Now that we have our switch through our firewall, go ahead and fish this through your dash however you would like and stick this at any point you would like to on your dash. Make sure to clean up your wiring that way it is not in the way of any moving parts. Now we can go ahead and power and ground our harness taking our 10 millimeter socket Undo the bolt at the negative terminal. Place our ground wire there. And we can tighten that back up. And our hot wire in our positive using the same 10 millimeter socket. Undo one of these bolts to place your hot wire underneath. Before you close your hood, go ahead and clean up any wiring to make sure it's out of the way of any hot or moving parts. With that being said, we can now move on to placing our bracket onto our cowl so we can get our lights mounted up. Taking a flat washer provided in the kit and your stock Torx 30 bolt that we removed from earlier, pick up your bracket for your lighting. Go ahead and thread that through into a desirable location for your light. Taking two nylon nuts, go ahead and drop those into the sides of your cube light. And now we can bring that to the bracket and start tightening our hardware for it. Place your light into your bracket and grab your Allen bolt as well as a flat washer and thread that through the side into the bolt.
Now take your 5.30 seconds Allen fitting and tighten your bolts. Now repeat those steps on the other side. You can now plug in your pod lights. And don't forget to replace your antenna. And that's gonna wrap it up for our review and install of the Dio Dynamics SS3 Sport LED Ditch Light Kit in white fitting your 21 and newer Bronco. For more things Ford Bronco, make sure to hit that subscribe button at extremeterrain.com.